and welcome back. This is Bobby Scuba with more Let's Play Final Fantasy V. I am joined, as always, by my still mostly dead squad of Bart's Rena and Ferris. Gallif is hanging outside. He's a little depressed right now. Let's see if we can cheer him up because, well, his his friend died. Ga Gallif, you doing all right, buddy? Gallif? Oh, no, I guess not. Damn you, Ziza, having to play the big hero. Yeah, he lost his buddy, I guess. I guess it's okay for him to be a little upset still. This up my Ferris passage to Gil's cave. Yes, you're right. Somehow we know that his cave survived, even though it sank. How was he? He'll be alright with a little rest. Good. Let's get back. And we're off. Apparently. No, we have to spend some time with Galifin. And just hang out with him. No, just look at him. That's all we need to do. We don't need any dialogue from him. No, we just we just look at him and we are on our way yet again. Where we need to go this time is back to Gil Shrine. Uh, there's not very many locations we can go to in the submarine. Uh, but I will not show it on the map simply because the map takes so long to load in this game. I'll just, you know, go there. It's not that hard to figure out where it is. It's exactly where you think it would be, which is right here. It is a flashing red dot on your map should you uh, get lost along the way. You just gotta follow the coastline more or less. I do need to rest up and rearrange my party though. We can't have two party members dead trying to go into this place. Okay, I reset my party just a little bit, and by a little bit, I mean Gallop. He is back on Red Mage, which is where I want him to be. Everybody else is pretty much the same here. Um, just just the way that he used to be with the healing staff and the white magic forward and all that kind of stuff. Let's move on. It is always nice to be fully healed. When we head to the Gil Shrine, which apparently is not underwater, just mostly, mostly underwater. But we can take on these radiators here, and we can do the temp tango and then punch the one that we temp tangoed, making that all worthless. Red Beast, damn you, how dare you suck Bod's life juices. That is not appreciated, Radiator. But these guys should not be too difficult. I don't believe they have anything that I'm looking for in particular. Should have aimed. Doesn't really matter, though. We hit anyway. But with the monk, we should be doing fairly well. Damn it, another red feast. Holy crap, that was a lot. That is, that is no good. This is, this is no good at all. Just keeps on doing the red feast and healing himself. How are we ever going to kill this guy? How are we going to indeed? Countering, that's, that's one way of doing it. Damn it. How dare you hit my Reyna. These guys are definitely a little bit tougher than I remember, but we can go for the Temptango, which is always nice. And then we can try to focus on the other one in the back. And that should be a very nice strategy to get this done. I don't want to use the magic. Down goes one of them. That is nice. We still need to heal Bart and Reyna here. Reyna probably needs a little bit more, but... Ah, you, you slowed yourself. You are a dumbass. Swords Dance! Damn it, Wonder Waltz. That is not what I wanted at all. Didn't even get him out of freaking... Confusion, but down he finally goes. I made that a little bit harder on myself than it needed to be, but we get 834 go, 400 experience, and two ability points for that fight. Very, very nice. Uh, of course, Reyna and Ferris are a little bit behind on ability points now, but that's that's not something I'm too concerned with at this point. Not too concerned with. It is a little alarming. Yeah, we just need to go straight. I don't think there's anything else here. Okay, we have five treasure chests here. This is a puzzle room. Hooray, this treasure chest. Empty boxes. Hey, this one's got a big stone in it. It's heavy. So we remove the big stone out of there. And I believe the first thing that I want to do is put it in here. Which it does open this passage over on the right. Do we have any more new enemies now that we have? move stones around. We have Metamorpha! 
and we get a first strike. I'm kind of hoping for a sword dance. Thank you very much, Bart. Still not enough for the victory, which tells you how tough this guy is. I am kind of scared of this guy, but uh, since I got the sword dance, it should be fairly easy to finish this guy off. There's a reason why he's by himself, you know what I mean? Uh, let's aim. He still hasn't gotten a turn. Wonder Waltz is not going to help Bars, and you know it. But if we can finish him off with this set of punches... No. Damn you. How much HP do you have? Reyna needs to be healed again. Reyna has over a thousand HP now. And it's very nice, but it takes forever to heal. Sword Dance. Morph! And he has morphed into a Wyburn. Which is something we have seen before. And is actually a lot weaker than what the other guy was. So, shouldn't have any difficulty with him. I'm not sure if he can actually beat that guy before he morphs. I think he can. Just so much HP. And, I don't, yeah, I don't think there's anybody left. Sword stance, please. Jitterbug. That is okay, but I was really hoping for sword stance. It does more damage. Oh, critical hit. Still not enough for the victory. How much did the Wyvern have? There we go. Down goes the Wyvern. You get three ability points for that fight. Ability points are always worthwhile. Always worthwhile, I think. But this is a puzzle room. There's not going to be like any big treasure chest in this one, I don't think. We just need to head up here and hit the switch, which does open up another passage. Now we need to grab the big stone, pick it up, and I believe this time we need to put it in the lower left. Just there. And that opens up this passage, which then can take us around through the passage that we were that we opened up last time. Any more new enemies? Just this guy again. Let's continue on. That guy is quite annoying to be honest with you. Now, we are on the third basement, somehow still not flooded, even though we're going further down. I swear there's another guy here, just more radiators. Holy crap. Let's continue on, and there is a hidden path down here, which does lead to a switch. Let's see if we can press it. There we go, and it looks like it's opening something up up here. It has opened up a staircase back up top. So, it's pretty much back around. Yeah, quite a puzzle room that we have here. Let's head down the staircase. What do we have down here? More hidden passages, as you might expect. This place is just one big puzzle dungeon. Not just a room, the entire dungeon. Those metamorphs, man, those metamorphs. They can change into both Ifrit and Rama. So, you have to be on the lookout for those. And can also turn into Shiva, so... Not much you can do about it, but hey, just be aware that that will happen. And it can change back once it casts the, uh, the big spell. Let's head down here. And, huh. Well, there's a turtle down there. A, a turtle? Jump in the pond? I don't really have a choice, so let's head in. And we automatically make it through. Let's put the turtle. And what kind of swimming is that? That's not even the backstroke, Bart. Okay. Let's head up here, and we can head up. There's just a turtle. Why is there just a turtle? What's up with this turtle? Surely, surely that's not, no, it couldn't be. Bart, stop it! Why, what's with the turtle? I can be cruel to animals, PETA's not around, don't worry about it. Hey, this is pretty fun. Will you please stop? What the hell? He docked, didn't he? Oh god, it's gonna- yeah, it's Sage Gill. Sage Gill, I'm so sorry. You mean this turtle? Sage Gill? By the briny beard of Neptune. The hell is going on? Look, look what you did. What, did we dent his shell or something? You have a sucky ass shell if I dented it. Well, I'm alright. We're, we're awfully sorry. No time for that. We must hurry. Y you mean X-Death? No, he means some other eminent planetary calamity. Yes, precisely. What he seeks is in more forest. More forest? Just west of Sergate Castle. It's where X-Death was born. What? 
So for those of you that are with me thinking, could this game get any weirder? You're about to find out. 500 years ago, evil spirits sealed in that turned a tree into a monster. That was X-Death. For 500 years, he was sealed there until 30 years ago when he broke out. Some of you didn't catch that, so let me let me let me explain to you what what that turtle just told us. X death is a tree. A tree. He's a fucking tree. And nobody else brings that fact up again. You mean until the battle with the Dawn Warriors? Bring up the fact that he just said that your mortal enemy is a tree. Correct. Dragon and the others did well, using the crystals to seal him up, but he managed to break out. That was our fault. No, I'm not saying that. The sealed things break now and then, but this time we must feed him. Where is he? More forest. He seeks something there. More forest. Yes, because he's a tree. He's a fucking tree. What the hell? Why is he a tree? 